How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys a live unboxing and taste testing and amiibo functionality review of the Super Mario cereal. Shout out to my friends over at Nintendo of America for providing it. I'm super excited. This is like the world premiere. We're like the very first people on board. So thanks for being a part of history. So uh, are you guys excited for it? I know I am ever since like I heard some whisperings on the interwebs about the Nintendo, the Super Mario cereal. We had some like leaks and whatnot. I'm like, oh man, that's gonna be pretty cool. So here we go. Uh, nonetheless, my friends over at Nintendo sent me a box and we're going to open it up with you guys. It's gonna be super fun. So if you guys are excited for Super Mario cereal, definitely smash the like button, share the video with a friend and let's do this. Let's dive in. I'm kind of hungry. It's actually lunchtime right now. So uh, I know a lot of you guys are uh, fans of cereal and breakfast foods. I still remember the good old times Back in like what, 1986, like the Nintendo cereal system? <laughs> oh man, let me know in the comments, raise your hand if you guys remember that. Dude, I was born in the 80s and I remember looking through some old photographs and there was a picture of me in a, like as a baby, my parents like holding me and in the background, you can see the fridge and I had, my parents had, one of the boxes of Nintendo cereal. It was like the cereal system, it was so insane. It was like a two cereal in one, anyway. Let's talk about my memories. Let's stop talking about that. Let's talk about this though. I'm, I'm pretty pumped up. This is the uh, the cereal box. Pretty awesome. Made by Kellogg's. Uh, yeah, I'm super pumped for this. Not only is it a cereal that you can eat, <laughs> but it's also an amiibo. So that's pretty cool. Now, I don't know if there are gonna be people lining up outside of uh, stores to be camping out for the amiibo cereal like amiibo hype used to be. But of course, by the end of this video, you guys will know exactly what is happening with the Amiibo functionality. And we'll go from there. So not only did uh, Nintendo hook me up with the Super Mario cereal, but they also gave me a little bowl. You guys can see here, <laughs> a little bowl. And like a one-time use wooden spoon. That limited edition spoon, man, only here. <laughs> and this little baby bowl looks really cute. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. So Super Mario Zero, before we jump in and do a taste test, I do want to give you guys a tour of what the box looks like. And we've got our vertical webcam right over here, which is uh, also looking great. So, of course, this box is a special uh, amiibo. Try it with Super Mario Odyssey. See the back for details. If you guys have not seen my Super Mario Odyssey playthrough, we did it 100%, getting all 999 moons. It was an amazing experience. And I'm still wearing my Cappy pin. I don't know if you guys noticed that. But anyway, yeah, we're ready for it. So it says uh, featuring power up marshmallows. You can see over here that there is a, um, a question mark block marshmallow. I want to take it that this is a um, one up mushroom and this is going to be a like a regular mushroom. That sounds cool. That sounds very cool. All right, you can see the Odyssey over here. What does that say? It says uh, mixed berry cereal with marshmallows naturally flavored with other natural flavors. Okay. Uh, right on the side here, Super Mario cereal, you can see that, pretty great, featuring Power Up Marshmallows on the side. Now this is actually kind of fun too, there's uh, there's actually a lot of stuff. Now, usually when I eat cereal, I either have my cell phone in one hand and a spoon in the other hand, right? I'm either going through emails or reading YouTube comments, playing Animal Crossing Fire Emblem. Now, not only <laughs> can you do that, but you can earn a spot at the breakfast table by playing some games on the back, right? So we've got some games here, uh, I'm, t I'm taking a look at it. And it looks like, are you a Mario Maestro? What do you guys say? Give me a thumbs up in the chat if you guys wanna play these quizzes together. And let me know if you can answer all of them at the same time. So here we go. So it looks like uh, Panic in the Pipes, uh, what's happening over here. Lead Mario through the maze, but beware of dead ends and piranha plants. Oh, okay. So you can absolutely do that. I'll use my wooden spoon to kind of guide Mario through there, right? So you've got Mario starting here. Uh, oh, and then we're gonna come over here to this one. Oh, and then you have to answer the question, all right? Let's do it. <laughs> all right, so the question to all you guys in the chat, what was Mario's original name? Mario, Jumpman, Wario, or Mr. Mustache? Hmm, I may need some help with that one. Oh man, come on, we all know that one. It's obviously Mr. Mustache, Pfft, duh. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it's not Mr. Mustache. It's Jumpman, good job. Okay, uh, what else we got? Yeah, you can easily just go through here. We'll answer all these questions because why not? <laughs> Which power-up causes Mario to become invincible? That's what this one says over here. Uh, a fire flower, super mushroom, superstar, or green shell? Well, <laughs> I'll have you know, all of those can make him really, really invincible, but not truly invincible. 
Super Mushroom makes him uh, powered up. Fire Flower, dude, you should see me with a Fire Flower underwater, man. I'm untouchable. Uh, and a green shell underwater in Super Mario 64, dude, that's the best. <laughs> no, but of course the answer is uh, Superstar. That's great. Okay, good. A lot of you guys got that one, so play along with. Here we go. Which character trait describes Mario? Huh. Well, that's subjective. <laughs> Courageous, shy, mysterious, and naughty. Uh, well, mysterious, sure. Naughty, not so much. Shy, not so much. He's all out there with his yahoos and yippies. Uh, but definitely courageous, I would say. Good job. Who is Mario's brother and trusted sidekick? <laughs> Bowser, Toad, Luigi, or Shy Guy? Hey, man, that's a tough one. That, that's really tough. Bowser could be his brother. No, no. Toad, no. Luigi, yes. And then Shy Guy, definitely not. Okay, so that's pretty cool. They gave you four little quizzes. Uh, you've got Hungry Yoshi over here, which is pretty great. Uh, it says trace the paths to uh, find what Yoshi will eat next. So you can pretty much like do your little loop over here and see what he's going to. Oh my gosh, and then there's another question over here. Question at the very bottom. You guys can see that there. It says, uh, what is the name of the kingdom that Mario is known for saving? Hmm. Any of you guys know? The name of the kingdom. Hmm. It says the Super Kingdom, the Star Kingdom, the Mushroom Kingdom, or the Koopa Kingdom. I don't think any of those things are real kingdoms aside from Mushroom Kingdom. Let's go to the Star Kingdom. No, that's not a thing in like Mario Galaxy, no. Koopa Kingdom, nah. I mean, that's like Bowser's Castle, right? I don't know if he saves it or liberates it, but anyway, so it's Mushroom Kingdom, good job. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You can earn points, go to kfr.com to learn more. That's gonna be fun. And then of course, depending on which way you travel, you'll either get the Mushroom, the Fire Flower, or the Goomba at the end, very nice. All right. So other than that, the NFC chip is right over here on the box. That's gonna be pretty cool. So all you guys that do uh, like custom amiibo, definitely chop or like cut out this box, throw this on the bottom of an amiibo and then just make a cereal box amiibo, am I right? So there we go, that's pretty great. So uh, we kind of showed you guys what was happening over here. You guys are all Mario maestros. I'll give it to you guys hands down. That was really fun. And of course, Super Mario cereal, uh, some things that you want to note. Uh, the nutrition facts are all over here. Of course, you guys all read your nutrition facts, right? And it's, of course, the ingredients list. I love it. Um, the only thing I'm not a big fan of is gelatin. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass on eating those marshmallows. That's part of one of the things that's uh, in the ingredients list. So keep that in mind. Uh, if it was kosher gelatin, I would have totally done it, but no worries. So here we go, Super Mario cereal uh, ingredients all over there. Make sure that if you guys have any food allergies, you read this ingredients list very, very closely. Last thing I want is for uh, <laughs> a viewer to uh, you know go on board, you know, eating Abdullah's uh, su recommended Super Mario cereal, and then I get a nasty email um, <laughs> from a parent uh, saying that they have like wheat or grain allergies or something. But anyway. We're here, let's do this. I wanna open this bad boy up. Uh, I'm done talking about it, I'm hungry. I'm getting really hungry from eating this. So, uh, you guys ready? Give me give me a thumbs up in the chat. Thumbs up in the chat if you guys are ready for this. All right, I know I am, man. Ever since, and like, Nintendo just reached out to me and they're like, hey, you want one of these boxes of cereal? And I'm like, yeah, of course I want a box of cereal. Do you know me? I eat so much cereal in my lifetime every morning, dudes. All right, so here we go. This is the, this is the cereal. Let's take a look. Boom. Okay, that's cool. Uh, this box, whoa, okay, okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it in here. I don't have enough light source, but you can see inside. If you take a look right over there, you can see the NFC chip. So that's pretty cool. I, I think that concept is amazing. Like, Nintendo hands down, like you guys are great. Always trying to like renovate. You can see that over there, right? So all of you guys that are into like custom Amiibo, that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's uh, that's it. I guess I'll put this aside for here. Uh, this is the cereal. Pretty pretty cool. It looks like uh, stars. Looks like it reminds me of Lucky Charms. I know Lucky Charms isn't Kellogg's brand, but I'm just gonna throw it out there. So yeah, it reminds me of uh, Lucky Charms. So that's pretty great. Reminds me of Lucky Charms, and it looks like the cereals only have maybe three different marshmallows in it. So that's cool. All right, so one of my pet peeves on cereal, being a, a cereal connoisseur, is the ability to open this up. I wanna be able to open this with my hands and not grab a pair of scissors. You know what I mean? All of you guys at Kellogg's, you know what's up. 
Or do you? That's the question. I don't know. Uh, okay. Thumbs up in the comments if you guys agree with me on that. <laughs> Sometimes like I'll open up a bag of cereal, like a new box, and then I'll be like, okay, come on, let's go. Do I do the bag of chip method? Is there like a little um, spot over here where I can kind of peel open? Or do I just straight up need a pair of scissors? Like, what's the deal? <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm gonna try this uh, corner method. Whoa, dude, are you kidding me? Dude, corner method works flawlessly. That, look at this. I have little minimal effort to open this up and that's good. Dude, are you kidding? You're talking to the masses, man. I'm telling you, there's R&D. There's an entire R&D department at Kellogg's <laughs> that totally um, do that. I'm telling you. All right, so anyway, we popped it open literally with like two fingers, just kind of slid it open and there you have it. So you guys ready for some cereal? All right, let's do this. All right, we're doing this. Let's see, the cereal to marshmallow ratio. <laughs> Look at me talking like a like a cereal uh, critic over here. The cereal to marshmallow ratio, <clears throat> it seems about like what? I don't know, maybe like 15%? 15% marshmallows to cereal? Okay, so that's not bad. All right, there you have it. The cereal, all right, we're gonna do this taste test, man. Let's do this. <laughs> oh man. All right, I love this. This is cool. This is this is this is very cool. Okay, so here we go. The start of the Abdallah Smash Food Channel. Uh, it's, I don't know what we're gonna call it, but this is episode one. We got a little crumbs over here. Oh no. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, as you can see on screen, this is the texture of it. it looks pretty great. You can see what is this? <laughs> oh, that looks exactly like a mushroom. Yep, that looks exactly like a mushroom. That looks exactly like a, a one up. <laughs> I don't know how like true to uh <laughs> I don't know how true to everything it's supposed to look like, but we're all having fun here, right? We're all having fun. And this totally looks like a question mark block. I'm just gonna call it out loud. Like I wish I could zoom into that, but <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? That's like totally 10 out of 10 for like how they look, right? That kind of looks like a a, a stomach. Like a, an anatomic, anatomical stomach. All right, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that's the zoomed in. The mushroom looks, the one up looks pretty decent. It's got like one little white part, so that's cool. I probably just got a bad one. That looks like a piece of toast. But uh, yeah, we have it there. So that's exactly what that looks. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty decent. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna call it. That looks pretty good. For a marshmallow, what do you, what do you expect? <laughs> it's like zero out of 10, virtually unedible or inedible. All right, so here we go. The taste test, ladies and gentlemen, the taste test of these little stars and we're gonna, we're gonna pop it in. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, a lot of you guys asking for milk. No, Nintendo didn't provide any milk and I'm not about to go upstairs and grab some milk. This dry cereal is pretty cool. It's a nice snack, you throw in a Ziploc bag. Um, <laughs> some of you guys use cereal and water. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm kidding. No, it's pretty decent. Nice crunch to it. It's got, um, I don't know if it's the actual flavor of it, but it's got a hint. It's got a hint of like the marshmallows. Like the marshmallows have, um, what have the marshmallows done? Like I can kind of taste like a little bit of the marshmallowy flavor on it. Which is okay, I guess, right? <laughs> Look at me, I'm not even using my provided wooden spoon. All right, here we go. We're gonna put that on there. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it, you know, it does. I know it's like opposite branding. Sure, forgive me on that, Kellogg's, but like, it does straight up taste like Lucky Charms. So it's pretty good. And marshmallows will taste like marshmallows, all you guys that enjoy marshmallows. That's pretty good. I will totally give this to Jess to eat in the morning tomorrow. I'd be like, hey, let's go. Super Mario Milk, <laughs> Sheldon Play says, Nintendo didn't provide you with Super Mario Milk? From uh, the cows on Moo Moo Raceway? No, no, sorry. None of that stuff. No, we're going dry cereal today. It, it's pretty good. So I would totally say, like, if you're looking for a pretty cool Mario cereal, and the fact that Nintendo has branched out on creativity in order to reach a more wider audience, that's. That's even better. That's really cool to me. That's great marketing. Uh, okay, so now that we've tasted the cereal, pretty good, nice crunch. 
Now that we tasted the cereal, it's time. It's time to find out what exactly does it do in game, right? Are you gonna go to the store uh, come December 11th is when the official thing um, releases in stores near you across the US. I don't think that they're branching out to the um, the UK yet. But uh, yeah, I, I guess um, I guess maybe I'll go to the store and pick up some extra boxes and we'll do something with them. Because I remember, if I read correctly, the old 1989, 1986 cereal, like the Super Mario, or the, sorry, the Nintendo cereal system, those, like a full box unopened, have sold on eBay for like 200 bucks, 100 bucks a pop. Because they're so old, man, that's like 30 years old. That's how old I am, man. Anyway, let's do it. Uh, I'm ready for it. Again, uh, shout outs to all of you guys that are here. Thanks for watching live. All of you guys that, that are watching post, cool. Uh, let's jump in. Let's jump in. So of course, Super Mario Odyssey, hence over here, we do have everything unlocked. Everything is absolutely done. The game is finished. We have all 999 moons. Uh, you can see over here, uh, we do have the, let's see, we're gonna load up. Yeah, we've got the star next to our file, which shows, hey, you know what? We know what we're talking about. So we got all the power moons, we're all set with that. So the question is, what will happen when you uh, click on the amiibo? What will happen? I'm curious. And here's Uncle Amiibo too. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna find out. So in case you guys don't know what happens in Super Mario Odyssey with the amiibo, is that you've got one of two ways of interacting with amiibo. You can go to Uncle Amiibo and scan one in, or wherever you're at, if you hold uh, right on the D-pad, you can see I'm using a pl uh, pro controller right now. If you hold right on the D-pad, you could tap in anything, any of the amiibo, and you'll get something right off the bat. Sometimes a heart, sometimes coins, so on and so forth. Here it comes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do both. We're gonna do both of them. I'm gonna do the hold right and then scan in an amiibo, and then we're gonna go talk to Uncle Amiibo to see if we get anything. I'm super hopeful that we have an exclusive costume or anything like that, but I'm not getting my hopes up. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Mario, it's okay, dude. Don't sit down, we got work to do. Yeah, there's a whole world of mushrooms out there. Yeah, and in your cereal bowl. <laughs> Courtesy of Kellogg's. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna tap in this amiibo. Oh, this is so awkward. I'm putting a giant cereal box. Oh my gosh, don't do this to me. Oh, there we go, sweet. What happened? <laughs> we just got a heart? A heart to recover you? Oh my gosh. All right, don't worry. That's usually what happens when you do that stuff. Let's try again. Come on, cereal. I'm using the pro, oh, there we go. Another heart. Hey, dude, we're made of hearts. What else we got? Let's go. So in case you're running low, <laughs> One coin! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! One coin? Oh, you're kidding me! Give me like 50 coins! Give me 100 coins for a one up! One coin. That's... Another one! Wait, I don't know. Am I? Is it because I'm at the end of the game? You're not gonna give me stuff? What was it? <laughs> one coin? Oh, it's hilarious. All right, so... You know, just like in real life, if you're not feeling 100% up and you're feeling a little hungry, you can pop up a bowl of <laughs> Super Mario cereal and get some of your hearts back. <laughs> All right, so we got hearts and coins off of just scanning it there. That's, you know, that's fine. What else are you gonna ask for? All right, let's talk to Uncle Amiibo. Hey, good to see you again. Uh, that Peach Wedding Amiibo and uh, the Waluigi Amiibo are back from hints. Sorry, I'll add hints for this kingdom. All right, no worries. Uh, hey, you got any Amiibo? If you happen to have some, put them to work. They're good at finding any stray power moons. And here's the kicker, depending on what Amiibo you use, you can get a little bonus costume too. There aren't any power moon hints right now. Did you still want to tap an Amiibo? Yeah, let's, let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, dude. Oh, do I have to hold? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I 
Boom. <laughs> That's so fun about doing this live. It's like outtakes after outtakes. And maybe because I already tapped it. What? <laughs> what do I have to do? All right, maybe because I already tapped it. All right, let's do this. Here we go. We're gonna load up a different file and see if it does anything else. That's hilarious, man. All right, here we go. Lake Kingdom, 37 Power Moons. This is a brand new file, right? Let's go to the Lake Kingdom. Let's figure it out. <laughs> oh, man, that's so funny. But hey, you know what? We're having a good time and I love it. So where is Uncle? All right, let's go Uncle. Hey, yo, Uncle. Got any amiibo? Yeah, I do. I do. Let's go tap that amiibo in. So he says you have to hold the left button uh, and then maybe you're right. Maybe I should like put the um, controller on it instead of tapping here like this. Some of you guys suggested doing this, like holding left and then like tapping it on here. Through cardboard, man. I'm holding right. I'm holding right. No, forget that, man. We actually got it to work. <laughs> we legit got it to work. I'm gonna spill cereal all over myself. Dude, really? There we go. It's called Amiibo Tap. You have to tap an Amiibo. <laughs> it's not It's not Amiibo slightly rested upon. It's called Amiibo Tap, so mm, tap it. All right, let's see. Oh, it's a delicious Amiibo. What? Custom dialogue? No, no, no. It says that for other non-Mario Odyssey Amiibo, right? That's a delicious Amiibo. You got it. I'll send the delicious Amiibo out to look for a Power Moon. It's gonna take about five minutes. If you run into trouble out there, you can tap an amiibo by pressing that. Can't promise miracles, but you'll get a little bonus guaranteed. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The amiibo does not net you any specific gear. Uh, so for reference, in case you guys are wondering how it looks like, uh, you can um, you can easily tap in an amiibo, right? We're gonna click on tap. I've got my Bowser amiibo here for reference. Click on this. Uh, and then he'll say, that's a Bowser amiibo, send it out, and then Afterwards, he's going to say, this is out of the blue, but I got a present for you for introducing me to such a great amiibo. You want to try it on, change it. So that's the dialogue that you would get if the amiibo had something super custom, but of course it doesn't. And that's, you know, that's fine. I'm, I'm a little upset, but that's okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be it. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys think in the comments? Let's let's talk about it. What do you guys think? Is that uh, is that cool? What would you have liked? Would you have liked it? All right, well, let, let's hypothesize this. All right, so if Nintendo and Kellogg's um, had a little bit more time and a little bit more programming, maybe a little bit more budget, of course, it's not just, hey, you know, give me a new costume. You can't just demand things like that. Um, so... If there was a lot more, you know, budget and time and resources to put into this, what kind of costume would you guys like to see in Super Mario Odyssey if they had a an NFC chip inside the box that uh, that was exclusive? I don't know. I don't know. You guys, let me know in the comments. What would I like? Here, why don't we ponder this while I eat some cereal here? What would I like? A cereal box, amiibo. A cereal box? Oh, oh, here we go. This is it, oh my gosh, genius, right here, watch. So, you don't need an outfit. You absolutely do not need an outfit. What you do need, imagine this. Okay, so you tap in your Super Mario cereal, right? You tap in your Super Mario cereal, and then in game, in the background of the Odyssey over here, you would get a 3D model of this cereal box. That would be amazing. You know what? And that's just like, hey, do it. It's like paying homage to the cereal box. Extra branding. So when people see it, they're like, oh, cool, let's go. Super Mario cereal branding on the box. That would be really awesome. I would really appreciate something like that. But you know what? Dreams, man. Dreams. 
Anyway, so that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We had a great time talking about the Nintendo cereal, uh, what it does. I gave you guys a little bit of a taste test. Uh, let's see right here. I gave you guys a taste test. Sorry to talk with my mouth full. Give you guys a taste test of what exactly uh, it tastes like. Pretty decent for children's cereal. Um, yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff. We showed you guys what happened on the outside of the box. We did an unboxing of it. And of course, we showed you what it does in game. It gives you a couple coins. It gives you some health, which is what all the amiibo do when you're out in the field. And unfortunately, it doesn't give you any exclusive gear. So, is that worth it? Yes, no. Are you here for the amiibo and you don't care about the cereal? Or are you here for the cereal and you don't care about the amiibo because you don't have Super Mario Odyssey or a Nintendo Switch? Either way, I feel that it's a great product simply because Nintendo's expanding out with their licenses. And that's awesome. Whenever, is, whenever Nintendo's able to do that with their license and partner up with a cereal company, a clothing company, a toy line, when they're able to do that, I think it's a win-win. We win because we get a cool product out of it. And of course, Nintendo wins because they make that bank off of it. So, shout out to Kellogg's uh, for teaming up with Nintendo. That's amazing. Uh, hats off to you guys. I love that. Uh, we haven't had Nintendo branded cereal in forever. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm very, very excited for that. So, in the comments below, I want you guys to tell me what you guys think of the Super Mario cereal. Worth it? Not worth it? Are you looking forward to buying it when it comes on store shelves on December 11th in the US? Are you looking forward to it being localized outside of the US? Like in the UK? Or Australia? Or Japan? I don't know. Let me know in the comments and we'll go from there. But yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. And uh, again, shout out to my friends over at Nintendo America for providing the cereal. I'm going to go pour some milk on this bad boy and start eating some of it up. It's going to be cool. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care.